Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly source for Christian inspiration, education, and motivation. If that sounds like something you're looking for, go and hit that subscribe button so you can catch out all my content each week. Today we're going to talk about, does God still work miracles? Does he? I don't really plan on this being a vlog type or day in the life type channel. However, if you like this format, let me know in the comments below. I want to tell you about what happened to me yesterday. I'm a youth pastor and yesterday we took our group out for a day of tubing and then to a movie and to get some food and it was just an all day fun event. Now whenever we do these events, we have it planned out to the T. Every single thing we're going to do, how long we're going to do it, where we're going to go from there, we have it all written out and planned out and we actually give a schedule to parents so they know and they can keep up. Well yesterday we went tubing, we spent several hours out on the river and once we were finished we were all changing and we decided to grab our phones and look at the movie theater we were going to and just double check the show times. But we went and checked the show times and they had actually changed. By about an hour, the movie we were going to watch was actually already playing at this time and there was no way we could make it. So suddenly the, our leaders turned into a mess and, and we're running, we're going on our phones trying to find more theaters that offer a, a show time that fits. And so we find a theater that's showing the movie at about the right time, it's about an hour away so we end up grabbing pizza on the way, our kids are eating in the cars while we're driving to this theater. So we get to this theater and we get our tickets, we sit down, uh, we begin watching our movie and everything's going smooth for about an hour. Then suddenly one of our youth jump up, he comes running up to us, panicked, and we don't, we don't know exactly what's going on, we're in the middle of this movie, but we look down and sitting right next to where that youth was sitting, there's a woman with an infant in her arms having a seizure. So us, all of our leaders, just run down there to this woman. And luckily, one of our volunteer leaders is actually a nurse. So she was able to get the baby away, and one of our other leaders took the baby and, and was able to get everyone away from the, the lady having a seizure and, and help her through that situation while uh, we ran and called 911, and there was a police officer on site, so we were able to get him over there, and, and we all kind of worked together and, and helped this woman through it. It was brought to my attention later actually by one of my students that it was a miracle that we were even at that theater. That's not the theater we were supposed to go to. We were supposed to go to uh, a theater about an hour away to a movie that was starting a little bit earlier. But because the show times changed and, and because of some other issues that happened, we ended up right there in that theater. Which was a blessing on its own because the woman who had the seizure she had a small baby in her arms and the man that was with her was afraid of babies and, and he spoke very little English so he wouldn't have been able to get anyone to help. And there wouldn't have been anyone else on the road there with, but because we came and we filled up the first two rows, there was youth down there with them. Now call it what you will, but I fully seen God at work yesterday. God was working, God got us in that theater, God got us in that movie so that that leader of ours with the medical training could be there to respond and could help this family through this hard time. And this is just another example of what it is to live a bold life. Christians should be the ones running in when everyone else is running out. Whenever someone is hurting and struggling and panicking, Christians should be running in to get help or, or to help or to provide reassurance or to calm the storm or calm the people that are freaking out. Christians should be running in while everyone else is running out. That's what it means to live a bold life. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Now we've reached the part that I like to call Bold Life Presents, where I present you with someone living the bold life that I feel is killing it with videos or blogging or just Christian content in general. This week I found a guy by the name of Carlos De Jesus. I hope I pronounced your name right, man, but he's just been killing it with some content. So go check out his channel here, and it'll be linked down in the description. Let him know Jeff sent you from that bold life. Anyway, guys, keep living a bold life.